Hey guys, it's Josh. I ran into an issue actually while trying to make the video for analog versus in the box summing. And I thought it'd be a good chance to pause and show you what I do when I run into this in case you run into the same thing and you get stuck because I know how frustrating this can be. The issue is when you go to open your Pro Tools session and it crashes while it's loading. So let's take a look here. Hopefully it will do it again so I can uh, let you see exactly what it looks like. Just going through the regular, you know, open session process here, just clicking on open. And as it starts to restore tracks, more than likely it's going to get stuck somewhere and Pro Tools will just crash. So let's see what happens. And as this is going, it's kind of helpful to keep an eye on it. I know it can move fast sometimes, but if you're able to see, like, for instance, there it said tuned lead vocal is when it crashed. Um, that can possibly be helpful. So that's something to just jot down and keep in mind for later. So thankfully it did do it so you could actually see what would happen. So I'm going to show you actually multiple ways that I've... Uh, gone about fixing this over the years because this is not really a Pro Tools 12 issue or a Mac OS Sierra. It, I mean, it's happened to me for years on and off. Multiple different versions of Pro Tools, you know, different versions of Mac operating system, different computers. Uh, it, do, it doesn't seem to matter. But when it does happen, it's it's like you're stuck. It just happens over and over. And it's usually at the worst possible time, which is you finish mixing uh, an EP or a project. You've got a couple of revisions to make. You've you've done four of the five songs, and you go to open the fifth song to make the one mix note change, and you cannot open it. So <laughs> I don't know if it's just because of all the different plugins going on, the routing, what the situation is, but it, it just happens. And Instead of freaking out like I've done in the past, thinking, oh man, I got to remix this whole song. What am I going to do? I'll show you some things that have worked. So let's just open Pro Tools again, just regular. And sometimes it can take a little while to load after a crash. You know, it's just uh, kind of has to go through the process again of getting its butt back in gear, I guess. But once you get back to the open session dialog, just go right back to the session you were on. Um, you know, nothing different as far as that goes yet. And the, the key here, you're going to hold down shift while you click open. So I'm holding shift click on open and continue to hold shift no matter what you see come up here I'm still holding shift when I click no still holding it still holding it all the way until you see this open up and the reason being and the reason that the session will now open is you'll notice all of our plugins are disabled and that is how usually you can get back in because you just got to get here to you know even have any hope of making some progress and getting your session back here so now that we're back in one of the things you can try I'll try to go in order of what's the least time consuming so that you can get back to work quickly first thing I would try is save copy in and you want to include the audio files this is saving a whole new session of this complete with audio files and everything and keep everything the same sample rate bit depth all of that and the key here is I would usually pick a different hard drive. I'm working off of an external drive here. It's possible that drive could be having some issues. So what I would do at this point is actually just go to the desktop and save it there. Give that a try. I'm not going to do that here because I actually know that's not going to work for this particular one. But give that a shot first. The other thing, step two that I would try, which can also be fairly quick, is change your playback engine. If you have a an interface like I do, like an Antelope Orion 32 HD that has multiple connectivity, like I have the Avid HDX connection, and also have USB as an option. So you could run it as HDX, see if that makes a difference. Uh, possibly just use your built-in output, something along those lines where, yeah, you can't really hear 
maybe through your monitors for a minute, but at least you can get back in the session and try to figure out more of what's going on. That also does not work in this case because I've already tried it. So I will mo keep moving on, but just want to let you know of some quicker options to try in case you are in a hurry. Okay, so let's say none of those things work for you and you seem to be stuck a little bit. Hold down shift, click open, continue to hold shift all the way until the session opens. So now we're back in. Okay, what do we do now? What I like to do, and this has been foolproof for me, and hopefully you'll find it to be the same for you. But when I'm stuck and nothing else is working, this is what gets me out of that hole. So I'm going to start here. Control command click is going to enable these plugins. I will do one channel at a time. And then I will freeze that channel. Now this is time consuming, especially if you've got a session that's got a hundred tracks or something like that. But the reason I've learned to do this is because sometimes when you go through and you enable a bunch of channels, like all the drums, and then you try to uh, freeze them all, you just keep getting crash after crash. Sometimes it's one plugin. The next time you make a little bit further progress, it's another one and it can just drive you insane. So, I do one at a time and the other key is after every track that you freeze it's really good to get in the habit of hitting command s command s of course is to save and that way the worst case you've made a little bit of progress for the next time that you open that session because the and actually I can get rid of this one because that was just an idea I ended up not keeping but the idea being that if I hold down shift and I open this session again, the tracks that are already frozen will remain frozen and I'll only have to start from where, you know, I left off. So that can be very helpful without having to start completely over. So I'm not going to make you sit through this whole thing, of course, but just know that I'm going to proceed. You'll kind of see it fast forwarded here. I'm going to proceed through the whole song doing this track by track. So plug in by plug in. The only other thing I want to mention before we kind of jump to warp speed here is just take your time. Don't don't try to click these all really quickly. Click and let that plug in load before you click on the next one because that can also be problematic. Start trying to do it too fast and things start to freeze up. And just know that everything I'm telling you is because I've tried it and it doesn't work. So learn from my mistakes. Get back to work quicker. I'll be back in just a minute. Let me finish up with the work here of doing this one by one and then we'll pick back up okay all of our tracks have been uh, enabled you know all the plugins have been enabled one by one we have frozen them all and the reason I like to freeze is because if you're opening the session with the intention of, you know, making some mix revisions, you need to have the ability to still alter those. If I was completely done with the song and it was just for archive purposes, I would probably go ahead and just commit all those. And I think if you're on a version of Pro Tools, I think that was introduced in version 11. So if you're on 11 or later, um, I would just put that into your practice when you're done with the project and you're archiving that make a version I'll, I'll do this now where it's the name of the song underscore committed and i will just commit every plugin on every track just because i've got sessions that you know i worked on for years and then when things change from artaz over to aax and tdm uh, there's just things that I, I i can't change anymore i can't go back and do anything to because i don't have even if I still had the plug-in license, I don't have the older TDM-based cards. So I think committing those tracks is probably the best way at this time to, you know, finish off a project. And then you don't have to worry about opening it as far as a, a plug-in crashing it. And you won't run into this. You won't need this video anymore. So let's, now that we have it open, let's see. Everything is you know, enabled and frozen. So what I would do is just to keep things on the safe side, if the person wanted one little change on the lead vocal, I would just unfreeze, or let's say it was on this echo vocal track, I would unfreeze just that one and make the change that you need. Say it was, you know, a little bit less compression or something. You could tweak that here. I would make that change and then refreeze it and then go ahead and try to bounce your, um, your mix. 
And the reason is, is just it, for some reason, when a session becomes temperamental like that, it, it's just like, I don't want to say it's broken, but it's just very finicky from that point on, it seems like. So I'd be very careful as far as like, okay, um, now I got my session open, I'll just enable all the plugins. And sure, once you're in there, maybe you can do some work and you save it. And then when you go to open it again, it starts to crash again. And it just, man, it drives you nuts. So just be very careful, proceed with it, you know, uh, with white gloves, just very carefully, like it's very fragile from that point on. And I think you'll save yourself some stress. So now that we've we've gotten here this will work like i said this has worked for me every time thankfully i've never been backed into a corner that i couldn't get out of with this approach yes it is time consuming but it always works for me let's say that you want to try some other things something else i would do let's say that this um, session was still in the crashing phase what i would do is actually go to Pro Tools and just start a completely new session. Obviously, you need to know the sample rate bit depth of your original one because you don't want to change that. So let's just call it, this particular song is named Clear. We're going to say Clear, Restored, something along those lines. Put it on a different hard drive if you can. You know, again, just one more piece of the equation to try to see if that could be the problem. So we're going to create it. Actually, I've already done that because I was fixing this before. We're going to just name it something a little bit different. And what you would do now is go to File, Import Session Data, and you can locate that original session. And what I found with this is if you try to go ahead and import everything all at once, it can be problematic, so I would not do that. Um, what I would do, you know, worst case, a track at a time, again, that can take a lot of work. So I would probably do the approach I just showed you instead. But what I would do if this is the route you want to take is maybe pick all the drums and try to just do groups of things at a time. Okay, so let's do just the drums and let's see if we can get that far. Okay. Uh, well, we're importing from the one that we already fixed, so that's not going to give us the true test here. So let's actually go to the original. And this is the um, original version that was crashing from the original drive. There we are. So let's go down to basically all the drums and their auxiliary tracks, all that stuff. Okay, so we've gotten that far with, you know, plugins being active. So that's good. Let's try the next group. Let's say now we'll do bass and guitars maybe. I don't know, once you have a little bit, bit of success, it's easy to start getting greedy and want to do a big chunk, but I'll try to have some restraint here. Okay, let's just go through guitars. All right. Guitars are good. Let's try some synth and okay. strings and some random things. We'll try to get all these in. Hope for the best here. All right. Doing pretty well. And maybe from this point we can grab the rest of the vocals and whatever's left effects wise. There we go. P Rock verse 2 guitar. Okay. The grand finale, the remaining tracks. Can we do it? Everything has disappeared. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. So, 
That worked. That's awesome. Doesn't always work, but just wanted to show you another option. So what we did, just to review, created a brand new session, same sample rate, bid depth, and imported session data from the original file or the original session that kept crashing. And you want to make sure you import all so it brings in, you know, when you go over here, you've got your audio tracks and all that sort of stuff. Um, but anyway, those are a few ways. If you run into this problem, you've got a Pro Tools session that crashes when you try to open. Try these things. Um, I'd also love to hear in the comments if there's another way that you do it that maybe, you know, you found works for you. I'd love to hear about it because this is something that could be very dependent on what system you're on. And I would love to cover all the bases so that whoever comes across this can get back to work. I hope this gets you back up and, and running quickly so you can finish up your project, make any changes you need, go ahead and finish that song, and you don't start from scratch. All right, until the next one, take care. Thanks for watching.